okay so we got a question right here which basically says deduce whether the value shows the show the conservation of momentum now we're going to use the momentum value but remember before collision there was no angle right the angle of velocity to x direction was basically for both objects were zero but for final values they are going at some angle right so before the momentum is basically you know normal stuff so we're going to use momentum basically momentum basically for before is equals to mv you're gonna use as we know p is equals to mv right this is the momentum formula for both sides right so this is for object a right you're gonna add them up right so 0 0.85 it is the mass of the first object and the velocity of the uh, the initial velocity of the first object right and then you add up them with the stationary as we know it's stationary right so the velocity is going to be zero so means the mass is going to be zero so the whole momentum is zero once it's multiplied right with the mass so basically zero we add them up you know as as we know the formula m1 v1 plus m2 v2 uh, sorry m1 let me write it as well m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 u is initial v is final right v1 is the a a ball and v2 is the b ball the ball b right i prefer to do it this way because it's you know much easier to identify what you're trying to do right so this the value that i get for this thing is basically this kg meter per second okay now okay now we have to find the momentum after right so i have to draw them out right let me write it off first momentum after so i have to draw them out basically to understand this stuff right so i know there's a ball a right it's going this direction right with uh, the speed of also the momentum because we're taking the momentum vector like right? we're taking the momentum vector right so i'm gonna put this as 0 0.85 times 1.3 right uh, so not 1.3 is 0 0.98 my bad 0 0.8 is the final one the final now we're talking about the final right we're only going to take or consider only the final values right so this is our final velocity this is our whole momentum right and going this direction right and then we have a b right we have a b right here it's going down right and as we know that its momentum is 0 0.5 0 0.5 for this formula i'm using still 0.54 this is the mass and i'm time uh, you know multiplied by 1.7 which is the final speed of the momentum for b right this is b this is a okay now i'm gonna draw the vectors and i'm gonna apply the head to tail rule it's necessary to apply the head to tail rule okay to do these questions right so the head to tail rule says okay basically i have this first line right here my second line starts from the head of the first line so it goes like this right it's completing it's basically directing the direction of the uh, the resultant this is the resultant momentum okay remember that this is a resultant the resultant basically starts from the tail of the first line to the head of the second right so this is resultant and this is the angle right here which angle that had been given to us which is 54.5 and this is basically we have this value which is sine this is always sine right remember that so we have 0 0.85 right times 0 0.98 times sine right uh, basically 54.5 i hope it's not that messy right uh, okay so this is our sign and over here it will be our cost opposite two angles are basically sine right remember that so we have cos over here which is 0 0.85 right this is our cos i'm doing this for the cos side okay 0 0.98 same thing and then i'm just multiplying it with the cos vector right which is cos 54.5 the angle of the cos right this is for the cos side this is for the horizontal is for the sorry the vertical is for the vertical uh, the sine and the horizontal is for the cos right now i'm going to draw the vector for b 
so same thing applying this is my first line my first second line start from the head of the for my second line start from the head of the first line and this is my resultant which is starting from the tail of the first line to the head of the second line right this is my angle which is 48.0 right opposite to this angle is always sine remember that okay always so this thing is basically gonna be 0 0.4 0 0.54 times 1.7 times sine which is basically 48 right this is my sign and here I will write my horizontal which is cos right so 0 0.85 times 0 0.98 times cos 54.5 this is my horizontal one this is my vertical one the sine one and the cos one is my horizontal one right okay now we have to see what we are dealing with i see both of my arrows at a and b are going towards the right right so i'm gonna add them up right so see what how much momentum is going towards the right side right so if i add these both values up when i calculated them the cost both of the cost values right so i get this as 1.098 i just rounded off a little bit and then you know there's a further value right there okay now I see these are going in opposite direction, right? So let's calculate the upward first, right? The up, the one which is going up, the, the A1 which is going up, right? Which is 0 0.6781, right? I get this value of just calculating the sine side, right? And one is going down, this one is going down, the B is going down, right? So uh, this one is basically giving me the value of 0 0.6822, right? now these are going in opposite direction so i need to find the final ones you know right so the final one that i'm gonna get while when i subtract these up is basically a 4.1 times 10 to power minus 3 right and as we know it's going up because this value is greater than uh wait uh, my bad uh, this one is basically i actually already switched the value this is up and this is these are switched up i accidentally switched up the values right so this is my basically up direction right yeah this is my up direction and so basically now i'm gonna draw the uh, vector for these this stuff right so basically i have a direction going towards the right which is this is 1.098 i have a direction going up right okay which is four uh, my bad, four point one times ten to power minus three and my resultant is going this way right because we know that head to tail rule which is my first this is my second and this is my resultant and basically going in the opposite uh, you know direction or opposite motion so once i can i can calculate this using the uh, uh this formula which is p is equals to is the basically the Pythagorean theorem right Pythagorean theorem which means a square plus b square is equals to c square this is a mathematical formula right so I can take any one of these a and b and this is always c right this is c right so I'm calculating basically a c this p is basically the c side right right and you know this is square right so the, oh, when the square goes over here it becomes square root right and then we put the a value in the b value you can take any a value any of these a consider them as a or any one of them considered as b right so i get this as 4.1 times 10 raised to power minus 3 and then you make it square plus 1098 and then blah 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 the values over there and then you make it square right and then you get your value as 1.11 kg meter per second right i have calculated this exact value you know you know there's some decimals right there as well so i can see that both of these values are basically similar basically the same right so i can see the momentum is basically conserved momentum is conserved right so this is your final answer